Cornelius. He squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. <laughs> I do not approve. Ingwe! How dare you! How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. A king, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now read this once again. Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like mother in Hindel? I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. Why hath my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, Fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, the world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. 
Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Until, as the prophecy states, the Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters, a monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were taught about these prophecies when we were younger. Princess Velvet, I do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Scaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do not seek a debate. All you want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Then I salute your extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Master! That wasn't nice, Scaldi. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Galen knows the entire poem. But Galen is held prisoner in the Netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the Netherworld. Yes, indeed. I can. I'd like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction, I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. What is it you want? Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the Book of Transformation. That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only ask to borrow it for a short time. I see. 
Well, let us go before we change our minds. Why did you not assist me, disappearing like that? As you promised, I did borrow the book in question. But it was missing the section regarding the curse of the Puka. As it stands, I cannot help your current situation. The pages were removed. Ingwe must have interfered. There is not much time. If the Queen catches us, she will not allow us to leave. The King's prison cell should be nearby. I smell warm blood. Do I sense live humans? Oh, King of Titania, it is I. Be gone, you demons. I have already declined your request. Great King, although you do not wish it, we will one day release you. But our business today is different. We come here to ask you, Scribe of Arian's greatest epic, about the world's end. The scent of the blood coursing through your veins, I remember it. I am Princess Velvet, of Valentine. His grandchild. Please tell me of the prophecies that are based on the Psalms. What do you hope to gain? I wish to oppose destiny and escape a curse that would cause my death. <laughs> oh no, the Halia will hear us. This is all that is left in my head and in my hands. Seek out the rest. I shall dream about you saving the world. Ah, the corpse that calls itself royalty. She has come to torture us. Silence, Gap. I do not recall allowing visitors into the prison. Queen Odette of the Netherworld. You say you are from Valentine. The memory of that name makes me furious. That criminal you all call the King. He stole my eye and crawled out onto the earth. What? My grandfather? Your rudeness continues. Tearing you limb from limb is not punishment enough. Surrounded! You stupid girl! We cannot run after angering the Queen! <gasps> That's... Uh. In this realm of death, I mistook you for my beloved. Your mother, my dearest daughter, Velvet. Odin. This man drove my mother mad. Creatures born of fragmented souls. I shall pound you into your graves if you do not leave us. Criminal Odin, you will never be forgiven. You have been warned, you fools. It's you again, Odin. I desire you, Queen of Rotting Cadavers. I shall decline from kissing your hand, but I shall restrain myself while in your court. After stealing my jewels, how does a thief call himself restrained? The crystals of the netherworld are quite useful. It is a waste to leave them. Casting off darkness and shining through, you cannot defeat me. It will be my own hand that finally nails your casket shut. Do not think you will die peacefully. Let's go, Velvet. Don't come near me. 
Something must be wrong. If you have come to save me... The honey are growing impatient. But they do not tremble nor shy away. Let me take you to the Netherworld's exit. So that girl is Odin's daughter. Hmm, I must escape quickly too. She went to the Netherworld with that sorcerer? This is so dangerous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, he may still be nearby. She's been looking gloomy ever since she returned. If I may ask, why are you so frightened? My grandfather, King Valentine, has escaped the Netherworld. The deceased king? But how? My grandfather was interested in the Cauldron. If that is true, it must surely refer to the Great Cauldron that appears in the prophecies. Is this the beginning of the end of the world? I do not know. It is impossible to speculate the motives of a king who has escaped the Netherworld. You have such great wisdom. Do you know of any way to prevent this destruction, Father? Hmm... A single ring controls the cauldron. The ring? That my grandfather was wearing? Indeed, the ring of Titrell. If that ring is used to stop the cauldron, no one can restart it, not even a king. Where is this ring now? It's in the Fairy Kingdom, where the cauldron has been taken. I shall sneak in and recover the ring. What are you saying? Velvet! I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there. If I asked him... If you are discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of this. I don't want anyone else involved. Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. That is when this change shall protect me. Mercedes! What? You... Grandfather, did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What was that? Is that the ring to trail? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen. By the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> prince? It can't be... Ingwe. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. You are not going anywhere! Guards! Guards! I'm relieved that you're all right. We were worried. Master. We, we can't let ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. 
This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. Father, is the King really trying to create another disaster? I know not the King's mind. But if the King wishes to use the Cauldron for atrocity once again, the only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. But I cannot bear to see the Princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe! Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me the ring. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Skaldi has friends in the Fairy Kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first, how can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Titrell? Goblins? Why are they here? The wind here is tainted with selfishness. Fools are fighting over a treasure at my grave. The world has become a rowdier place since I was last here. <gasps> it's been a while, has it not, Velvet? The last time, I lost my life here. Grandfather? What is wrong, my child? You tremble. I guess my appearance does not help. But alas, this is how your king returns. <laughs> Twas your duty to dance and console me, remember? So what is keeping you? Show your courtesy and kneel as you did before! Yes. Now! Do you remember who commands you? There, there. You are a good child who obeys my commands. I shall have you work for me, as you always have. We shall regain the cauldron and purify the old world. <gasps> Grandfather, please forgive me. What? Do you dare to disobey me? You? <laughs> It seems that I may need to use the whip to bring you back to your senses! <sighs> Grandfather, please. You fool. Now follow me. The cauldron must be put to sleep. So that none may control it. What? No! You can't have the Ring of Tetrell! Where is it? Do you have it? I will not tell you, even if you kill me. You... You conceited child! But I cannot waste my time like this. I shall use the whip on you later. I... I have to calm down. Grandfather is hurrying because he thinks that I can stop the cauldron. I must get there first.
Right! Everyone fall in! We'll maintain formation here while we wait. Check roll call again. Lord Brigan! What are you suggesting? Why should we wait after coming all the way here? Gwendolyn's troops are already in battle. Tis not very far from here. Shut up! Don't lecture me! The princess has advanced too quickly! We shall advance slowly. We must save our strength. If we hurry now, we'll be unable to rush them. Do not worry, my troops. The king's pride and joy is fighting. Our victory is almost guaranteed. But Lord Brigan... You're so annoying. Fine! Go on ahead. I'll catch up. We're almost there. Tell them not to hold back. Lord Brigan, will you be departing as well? Don't be so hasty, you fool! Heroes wait for a dramatic entrance! But in the last battle, we did not make it in time, and Princess Griselda... Don't use that tone with me! Ah! Hm. Huh? And who are you? What are you doing here? The Demon Lord's confidant. Out of my way. What's all this, then? Hey, wait! Uh! Don't disturb me! You! How dare you! Dear Cauldron, you neglect a child. Now, obey the ring. Listen to the voice of the ring's owner. Go to sleep. Stop all this. Let not a single cog spin. Now, not even my grandfather can control the cauldron. Who is that over there? Tis Odin. It seems the battle is winding down. Soldiers are approaching. I must leave before they spot me. Master! Princess Velvet, you're safe! When I heard that you had run away, I gathered those who were determined to rescue you. This area is not safe. If Apuka is captured here, they will discover the entrance to the town. Someone's coming. Please, go and hide. I'll draw them away and buy you time. But... Please! Halt, woman! You're... You use a cipher. You must be a high-ranking officer. I am Gwendolyn. I am from the Honorable King's Bloodline. The Demon Lord's daughter? So, she is my half-sister. And who are you? Tis now your turn to answer! <sighs> Stop! Such a small ring. Is the key to Armageddon. Master. Will the cauldron remain asleep? Perhaps, perhaps the prophecy could be mistaken. You must never give the Ring of Titrell to anyone with a lust for power. Hey, here she is! What? Indeed, this saves us the trouble of having to go underground. W what do you want? Ah! Wait, listen. King Valentine has ordered us to come here. My grandfather? Princess, the king is furious. 
The customary punishment for disobeying the king is hanging or crucifixion. Quiet! You have nothing to worry about. The king is a kind man. He said if you'll return the ring, he'll love you again. Princess Velvet. I will not let him have it. Killing her isn't an option. Just steal the ring. Like candy from a babe. There are too many of them! Run away! Quiet, old man! Master! No! Worry not about me. Hide the ring where no one will find it. Don't let her escape! As you can see, his soul is with the stars. Why are you here, Jewel Handler? If I dislike your answer, you shall not leave this mountain. I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting to meet Hindle's friend. My name is Wagner. Who are you? I must know or I will not help you. I am Princess Velvet of Valentine. You are related to the one who created the cauldron that destroys souls. And that jeweled chain. Hindel last told me. A Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom would soon come to take his life. He knew it all, but he died following his destiny. He mentioned you then. He died from that jewel! Don't casually dismiss his death! Do you think of us as mere lizards, incapable of shedding tears? You don't seem to understand that my friend's death pains me terribly. It pierces my heart, you witch of Valentine. I could crush your bones and drink your blood, but it would bring me no peace. I curse the misfortune of meeting you here. Wagner, please wait! Don't be arrogant, girl. Allow me to show you what a true dragon is capable of. You can take my life, but please, hear what I have to say first. I do not care if you beg. I have stopped the cauldron to prevent a great disaster. Hindel told me to come here. Eh? What did you say? You stopped the cauldron that creates the jewels like the ones you use? No one can command the cauldron now. Save for the one wearing this ring, Titrell. This ring is the only thing that can reactivate the cauldron. If you speak the truth, then that means that no more jewels can be created. The Demon Lord and the Goblins are all searching for this ring. Please lend me your aid. I come here to hide this ring where nobody will be able to find it. Are you saying that the Valentine royal family wishes to dig its own grave? I never thought I'd hear that. But there is nowhere that is truly unreachable to all. Wherever the ring is buried, the dwarves will eventually dig it up given time. Then what do you suggest? Let me take the ring. I am Wagner, ruler of the sky. Not even the beast of Armageddon can reach me above the clouds. And I am safe from Odin. Why is that? We made a deal long ago. In reward for his valor, I gave him my blood. The source of his mighty power is the dragon's blood running through his veins. 
As a result, Odin's powers cannot harm me. Now give me that ring. Please be careful. This ring is sought by more than just kings. Tis my responsibility. Thank you, Wagner. If Odin is hunting you, I would advise you to stay away from this mountain. I often see the Demon Lord's Valkyrie in the area. I cannot hide from him. This situation must come to an end eventually. I may be Valentinian royalty, but I am Odin's daughter. What? It has been predicted. I will be captured by the Aesir. As the thief who ruined their chances of victory. I see the witch! Over here! Catch her! I'm surrounded. I can't escape. Come with me! You! Why are you helping me? Your execution would deeply upset my father. It frustrates me. But my father loves you. So please, don't hate him. Please step aside, Princess. Stand back! Let her through! Lord Brigan has collapsed! The Princess has gone mad! This is most unfortunate. My lord! You know what happens to those who oppose me. This girl rescued me for your sake. She rescued me, your daughter. Stop it! Don't say that. The soldiers will think less of my father if they overhear you. Gwendolyn, do you realize what you have done? My heart knows why you are acting this way. That is why I am doing this. Oh. Hear me, everyone! I am a traitor who opposes the King's commands. Until this girl escapes, none shall pass, not even the King. What disrespect! Take one more step, and I shall run you through! Here's your chain. Now go! Hurry! Gwendolyn. I am glad to see you are safe. How is Master Croy? He's still in bed, unconscious. He sometimes mumbles about the Armageddon. Oh, Master. Huh? You better be telling the truth. So Odin cast a spell on his daughter, eh? Yes! Please. Uh, you're hurting me. What are you doing? Leave her alone, Skaldi. Ah, Princess. This does not concern you. Miris, it's you! Yes, Princess Velvet. I was forced to leave the castle, so I was on my way back home. What did the sorcerer want? I do not know. When I told him that I was driven from the castle, he suddenly looked strange. Driven from the castle? What is happening at the Demon Lord's palace? Princess Gwendolyn, who I serve, was banished for opposing the king. What? Where did she go? She is to be imprisoned in the old castle in the forest. 
That girl. Oh, forgive me, Maris. This is all my fault. She sacrificed herself to save me. Princess Velvet. No. I cannot stand here and do nothing. Oh, Princess Velvet. We have transported Princess Gwendolyn. Ah, well done. I shall take care of the rest. Return to the castle. Now, I am finally alone. Come out. So you knew I was here? I'm happy to see you safe, Velvet. If you were truly relieved, you would not have punished the daughter who cares for you. I see that you are concerned about Gwendolyn. But you know that the King cannot waive punishment for those who disobey the law. Even so, are you not her father? How could you? You see his true self? <gasps> Grandfather... Ah, uh, this tattered specter. This is King Valentine? Odin. You are truly vulgar. When it comes to rudeness, you're a cut above the rest. I need no civility to deal with a demon who kills his own daughter. Yes, indeed. A demon. I crushed my beloved child with these hands. These fingers wrung the life from that soft neck till it cried no more. Oh, mother. I would not even allow the rain to touch her. Do you realize just how much I loved her? Do you understand that my love could not prevent me from giving in to my anger? She was my everything. Everyone labeled me a child killer and feared me like a wild animal. I was indeed a mad king. I lost all sense of serenity and peace. You stole that from me along with my daughter! The pain of losing her is still with me. I have been fighting Odette's brittle bones ever since. Shall we continue our war here? Very well. Let us have our fill of battle. Right, Velvet? What? Don't worry, my dear. If you heed my words, we should be able to leave those underground in peace. <gasps> Look. This man is our enemy, Velvet. You should hate him. Chain this beast up. <gasps> Stop this, Velvet, or else... <laughs> it appears the Demon Lord cannot be as ruthless to his own daughter. Why don't you allow me to be the cruel one? In payment for my treasure. Stop it, Grandfather! What are you doing, Velvet? I was waiting for you to get closer. Step back, Velvet. You were just pre- Pretending to be hurt. Well, no one is completely unscathed after a blow from a cipher. But there is still enough power in my hands to crush you, Valentine. Let me take revenge for the death of my beloved. She was my precious daughter. There could not be another like her in the universe. If you loved her so much, how could you do something so horrific? If she had any love for you, 
Then her claims to love me were only lies. Is that a crime worth death? I made her suffer. And even then, why did she not curse my name? Why did she not beg the stars to strike me down? I see. Although she knew she had to die, she prayed that I could be spared. She just wanted her suffering to end. Is that my mother's writing? I was blinded by fury, acting on foolish impulse. I could have saved her. These hands, I killed her with these hands. Kill me, Odin! Crush my bones until there is not left! I killed my beloved fool! Ah, I will not find peace until my heart is truly destroyed! You said you loved her, but your words ring hollow. Go! Go suffer for eternity! Every nation has laws set by its king. Transgression cannot go unpunished. Not even for a princess. You're the same as my grandfather. You only realize a treasure's true worth once it is gone. Who is the one who truly loves you? Things will not get any worse. You don't need to worry anymore. Gwendolyn, little sister, I pray that you meet a man who is kind to you, so that you do not suffer any more for your own kindness. I'll pray for you. Miris, I shall go to the old castle to see Lady Gwendolyn. Please take care of her. Of course. I shall do my best to protect her. Please be careful. You too. They might come back again. Everything is alright. Please don't worry. Who are they? Did something happen? While you were out? The goblins returned and stole all our coins. My grandfather must have been behind this. But everything is all right. The one with a glowing sword retrieved all our money. Who? He hails from the kingdom of Titania. He went back there. To Titania? Did he... Did he say his name? His name is Cornelius, and he is very powerful. <gasps> Prince Cornelius. No. The Pocus curse was cast on Cornelius? Who would do this? How did this happen? Oh! The Book of Transformation. It was missing the pages. Is Ingwe here? I haven't seen him since then. Prince Cornelius. Your Majesty, tell me your secret. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Tis not in my best interest. If you continue to be stubborn, the sacrifices of your nation will grow. Urza, you... The soldiers in this country are worthless cowards. What is wrong, Skoldy? Tis the Princess of Valentine. She is on her way here. 
How bold! Isn't she Prince Cornelius' mistress, your majesty? She and Ingwe are descended from the Valentine royalty, but they are Odin's bastards as well. Truly, a cursed lineage. If we capture that girl, Odin will be devastated. Beware her chain. Let us take her to Beldor. She will not be unharmed if she faces a dragon. It doesn't matter as long as she's alive. There she is. Do your job. Keep quiet. You know what will happen if you say anything. I am King Valentine's granddaughter, Velvet. King Titania. Please, excuse my rudeness. What brings you here? I have been informed that Prince Cornelius is in Titania, but has been cursed. Please allow me to see him, even if only for a moment. Tis a crime to cause an uproar in Titania, but the King is not heartless. We were unable to conceal what happened to the Prince. However, they say that true love can get results no other method can. The King shall be merciful and grant your meager wish. Allow me to escort you to the Prince. Follow me. She has fallen into our trap. Damn Belial, he's not taking this seriously enough. But we were able to capture her since she was distracted. So how do you feel, Princess of Valentine? Or shall I call you Odin's daughter? You are powerless without your Graveral chain. You must be the ones who transformed Prince Cornelius into a puka. Tis what your brother asked. Where is Ingwe? He was supposed to assume the prince's form and learn the king's secrets, but... We should have just threatened him with Belial instead of all this. Now, now, Beldor, don't be so pessimistic. The king's secrets? The magic of Darkova that turned King Galen into the demon beast. Tis a secret technique that allows the user to gain the power of the Netherworld. It looks as if King Valentine researched it as well. His efforts were also written in the Book of Transformation. These references were quite helpful. Now, as the Psalms say, King Galen shall be our guide. After the Armageddon, we become kings! No one survives the Armageddon! The entire world will be destroyed! Do you see the psalm I hold? This is the last verse. The answer is written here. Two crownless kings that control the Armageddon shall rule the resurrected world. Are you saying the world will be saved? Don't you get it? The epic poem tells us how to gain control once the world has been purified. Impossible. You've said too much, Skaldi. She's only alive until we decide what to do about Odin anyway. Let's just put you to sleep for now. Princess Velvet. Uh... Are you all right? You aren't hurt? Good. The dragon is dead, and the sorcerers have vanished. Everything's all right. Wait. You... You are Prince Cornelius, aren't you? Cornelius! I hope...
hope you are well, your majesty. What in the world are the Palia doing? Allowing intruders in this place. Those blockheads are guards. You might as well welcome the grave robbers who come to steal your jewels. You may trick my servants. But your spells do not deceive me, sorcerer. Beautiful queen of night, please reign your anger. I would be even more beautiful if I rouged my face with your blood. Like all who live, I have certain desires. But if you listen to me, I can erase your majesty's worries here and now. Worries? If I may borrow your army, I shall bring you the soul of the Jewel Thief. Do not attempt to fool me. I shall not allow an act that will ultimately cause the world's end. Then Odin shall continue to do as he pleases. How unfortunate, your majesty. Just what do you seek? Allow your dread army to appear in Arian for a short period of time. Say a sorcerer stole your majesty's eye and called the dead out. And after the Demon Lord dies, you shall punish us. Hmm. So you would throw your life away just to fight the Demon Lord? If I can only serve at your majesty's side, then I shall be content. Hmm. There are many among the dead who harbor ill will towards Odin. I ask to borrow those resentful souls. Ingwei! Oh, Cornelius is quite a man to watch. I'm beginning to regret deceiving and cursing him. So it was you. How could you do something so evil? There's more to me than you realize. I escaped serving that old man, but I made you my scapegoat instead. And when he whipped you, I hid. I had to be repentant if I wanted to live. But I couldn't protect you. Ingwe. It's time. Live out your days in peace, sister. What? That devious woman. It appears she kept her promise and sent troops to attack. She believed my words, but if she sees my mystic power, she'll change her mind. If the Halia come this way, I shall easily be able to sneak in. I had heard that the Book of Transformation had disappeared from Titania. No, that can't be. Ah! Ingwe, wait! This disturbance. Is this your doing, Ingwe? I take it you can see through my disguise. None of my soldiers mask themselves. It was a mistake, but... I didn't think this could be finished without using my trump card. Trump card? Ingwe! Velvet, tis you. Ingwe, please don't use that power. Ingwe, please! Why did you follow me? It was a mistake to let you keep that cipher. Now is the time to let you in on a secret. Velvet. It was me. I destroyed Valentine. What? Back then, if I hadn't known that this man was our father, if I didn't know his battle plans and know that he didn't stand a chance, I wouldn't have made the cauldron run amok. No, you... I didn't think it would cause such destruction. You were protected by the Cypher and escaped the curse and disaster. I was saved because I was hiding in the cauldron's shadow. I watched the kingdom fall into ruin before my very eyes. And I was spared. 
As you had intended. You talk as if you understand me. In order to save my father, I destroyed an entire kingdom. Can you imagine the pain I feel? I still remember what you said when you looked down at me. You did well, traitor. Now the cauldron is mine. There were other soldiers nearby. I could not call you my son. You don't remember, do you? You didn't care at all. Your eyes and heart were full of greed for the cauldron. No. Is that why you gave the ring to Elfaria? I'd rather the fairies have it than give it to you. That must hurt the Aesir. You... I will pay for my sins with my life. I shall be cursed, and I will die. If I am the only one who has to suffer my mother's curse, then so be it. Stop it, Ingwe! But I will take you and the cauldron to my grave with me. Try using your magic. If you think you can surpass the power of Darkova, Transformation aborted. I couldn't finish the spell. Don't interfere, Velvet. Mother wished for my death. No! Listen to me, Ingwe! Don't worry about me. Go escape now! Back then, we were scared. Scared that our grandfather would kill us. So we swore in front of him. Swore that we didn't love our mother when she was standing right there. She was crying then. But she didn't cry from the pain. She was happy that we chose the path of life instead of death at his hands. She knew that she could not escape death. If we sided with her, we would have been killed also. That's not true. We had forsaken her. We didn't lift a finger to save her. That's why she cursed us before she died. Grandfather was hiding this. It's the second part of the memo she wrote to us. She writes of her love for both of us. That... that can't be true. I... I abandoned her. You're safe, Your Majesty. There they are! Kill them before they do more harm! Wait. Those two are... What? It looks like this is the end for us, Ingwei. <clears throat> Over here! Hurry! Prince Cornelius. You must be wondering about Ingwe. He left his bed, and we haven't found him. But I'm certain he will appear again. Have you seen my father? He's badly injured, but he's run off. Master Croy? Oh, Princess Velvet, I finally have the answer. I, I, I have to tell you. Master, please rest. No, this is important. Listen to me. As the sorcerer said, the epic poems detail the path leading to the world's end. 
But it's not the path to becoming king. That path has been seen. In our country's prophecies, this is the path that must be avoided. Master! Even if this interpretation is correct, the, the outcome is horrible. Two humans survive the end of the world. Princess Velvet, only two will be spared. Father! Master Cry. This scroll has the details. Please use the utmost care and try to avert the Armageddon. Perhaps that is your duty and your destiny.